All right, so I have one last thing left to do to make this version of coordinate descent look like Adaboost. So we've already resolved that um, in step one, we're using a weak learning algorithm, which is minimizing the weights on the misclassified points. And that's the same thing as I've written here as we showed in the last video. Okay, so now in this video, we have to resolve the weight update rule. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, because that this doesn't look like Adaboost weight update rule. Adaboost, what it does is it um, takes the weights at time t and then multiplies them by e to the alpha or e to the minus alpha, depending on whether the point was misclassified. And then it renormalizes all the weights. Okay, so let's go in and try to um, and try to resolve what's going on there. Okay, so the, let's talk about the weight update. And I'm just gonna write this down here again. dt plus one i equals e to the negative m lambda t plus one i. And then of course all the weights get renormalized. Okay, cool. So this thing is proportional to, and then lambda t plus one, remember what lambda t plus one is, is um, it's lambda t plus alpha t in the jt uh, direction. Okay, so let's write that out. So we have here, um, it's proportional to e to the negative m lambda t, and there's an i there, and then e to the negative m i j t alpha t. Okay, so again, that's just, this is the previous, um, so this is lambda t here, uh, that's lambda t there, and then when I added alpha t to the jt direction, that means I, I, I have this term there now. Okay, cool. So this thing is proportional to dti. In fact, this is exactly the unnormalized version of dti. And then I get to copy what I had in before, mijt alpha t. Okay, and so what that means is that dt plus one i is proportional to, make that a little bit more proportional to, okay, this equals either dti times e to the negative alpha t if m i j t equals one and it equals e to the alpha t if m i j t equals minus one. Okay, so now I'm completely resolved. Now, hopefully you can understand that, um, that this is exactly what Adaboost is doing. Um, and it's much more convenient to actually use this weight update rule than to use the, the sort of <laughs> use lambda t plus one i because actually in Adaboost lambda t plus one can go off to infinity and so you can be multiplying these really big numbers and e to the negative really big numbers and it all it's it's very difficult to work numerically so if we update the weights this way then um, then it actually works out much more you know it's a, it's a much more computationally feasible it's a really nice way to do it so it's just sort of um, magical that for the exponential loss, the weight update rule kind of works out like this. Um, that's sort of a, a nice property of the exponential loss. And it, you don't get these really cool tricks that, um, that Adaboost has with other different kinds of losses when you try to derive, when you try to do coordinate descent with those other kinds of losses. So hopefully, um, hopefully now you're, you're sort of into this um, and understanding why. Uh, all of this is equivalent to the original Adaboost that we first introduced. Thank you.